All right, what's uh, what's going on next? Oh, let's talk. Let's talk about Fortnite. You know, we are the official Battle Royale podcast. We we argued we about Tetris ninety nine before, but uh, you want to talk about some Fortnite nerf and Super Soaker guns? Yes, we have the um, we. So Fortnite is uh, getting more toys. They already have uh, action figures. You know, tons of other merchandise. Uh, merchandising. And, and now we're taking the uh, guns from everyone's favorite battle royale shooter. Actually, I think Apex Legends may have upended that. Um, and uh, we're putting them in the hands of kids with uh, water and Nerf guns. So we're gonna get the um, we're gonna get the uh, rocket launcher, the Fortnite RL. Um, we're gonna get a llama inspired micro shot and the previously announced ARL, which is uh, this little automatic looks, rifle looks like a, thing it looks like an ak-47 kind of to a degree yeah yeah so so there must be some nerf gun that looks like that previously that they just reskinned with fortnite on it right I, it, it just it begs the question because there's been a ton of of, of uh, nerf guns that have come out the past 15 20 years right this yeah. is like the golden age of nerf guns although with fortnite being <laughs> as popular maybe as they it did is, its own. okay maybe they did its own but yeah i mean there's probably been something that's similar something in that ballpark uh, yeah, it's an it's an AK forty seven or AK seventy four. There, there's the uh, there's a handgun that looks just like the, uh, the 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 Wii controller Nyko gun that you put the Wii mode in to shoot, but with different colors. It, it, looks, a lot, it, it looks, looks close. Absolutely like it. <laughs> I will give you that. That would have been like the first thing I thought of had I seen or, that. That's in. called the what is that called? Which one is that? Uh, that's a water blaster. The RL water blaster. That's a water gun. I see the cap on the back of it. Oh yes. Uh, so that's ten bucks. Well, I want to talk about. Oh, there's the rocket launcher. How does the rocket launcher? Oh, it's a super soaker. So I yeah, didn't I know that, that, that at some good. point, uh, Nerf and Super Soaker com like combined somehow into the same branding. Because Super Soaker used to be its own company. Yeah. And then they all got bought out, I think, by. Uh, did Mattel buy all this shit out? Did, did Mattel buy uh, uh, Nerf and Super Who bought? Who owns Nerf? I'm really curious what happened here. You remember when Super Soaker. Super Soaker. Super Soaker. Super Soaker. <laughs> Hasbro. Hasbro bought both of them. Hasbro uh, owns Nerf and Super Soaker. I don't know when they bought Super Soaker, uh, but they're taking over the, I guess, our, our play gun world. Shoots up to 50 feet. Now, 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 that, now that's, I think it's more than that, uh, that finally they, they figured out the technology. Um, they have another water blaster. What I want to talk about is the models they use in these pictures. Uh, these gentlemen are not a traditional, I'd say, Fortnite playing age. Uh, they, they, none of them look, look younger than like 17, 18 years old. Some of them look like they're college age, these gentlemen, these, these young men that they hired to shoot these water guns. I'm not saying they can't play with water guns or nerve. I just think that's weird to see that in the marketing. Uh, they have the, the, the elite Fortnite SPL, which is like a, a long, long ass, like Joker style from Batman, like a gun, like a pistol mm -hmm. that shoots, a, shoots a single dart that can probably take your eye out. <laughs> it's a three, oh, three dart clip. Okay. And they show and then the kid, the kid playing it is not younger than 19. He's not, <laughs> he's just not, I just think it's fine. I'm not making fun of them personally. I just think it's funny. Then they have, yeah, they have the, the llama little hand shitty pistol. I just feel like, you know, if you're, Squirt guns, Nerf guns. I figured that would have been more kid focused advertising. Not that I don't like a good but, squirt gun. But squirt this is gun. but this is how we know okay, yes, none of those gentlemen are younger than twenty four in that last picture. Uh, none of them. Okay, so um but this is how you know you're becoming you're coming to peak Fortnite. Because now you have the mass marketing, you have the toys, and now you got Nerf and Super Soakers. I mean, now it's going to be in Toys R Us, yeah. uh, which is fine. But keep in mind, what's funny about this is like, oh, hey, Fortnite's been out for three years. Oh, no, it's been out a little over like a year. You know, it's, this isn't like a long lifespan for, for this game that all of a sudden we're yeah. like, we're like, we're in, we're in the trenches now. Because it came out the October before last October, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's... This hasn't been a huge game. Uh no, it's a huge game. It's just oh, not yeah, an it hasn't one. been a huge amount of time. Yeah, Fortnite release date. When, when was it actually released? 2017. Yeah, it was towards the end of the year. Uh, the beta was July of 2000. Uh, it was officially. It actually the the official official release wasn't until July of 2018. On um, oh, yes, really? <laughs> so it was a long ass beta period. 
This long this. gun and looks neat. <laughs> that definitely does look dangerous. That, that long pistol. Yeah. Yeah. The Nerf guns can, can shoot like hundred feet now. They're, they they go. Uh, but what, what, again, while we're at peak Nerf, though, excuse me, peak peak Fortnite, peak Nerf, or I wish we had peak Nerf, is that we have stuff going on <laughs> like uh, we had. What was it? Somewhere in Scandinavia, they had like a Fortnite live event. You see about that? It was like a, they tried to put together this little festival that was unofficial Fortnite no. and it was a fucking disaster. I did not know. And you know had to pay to play. Um, like Fortnite inside a boost, but they actually try to do. Look it up. It wasn't a full topic. I saw it. It just looked like a disaster. Okay, that's bizarre. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right now. We're at peak Fortnite. It's only downhill from here, especially with stuff like Apex Legends coming in and uh, getting getting some of that market. Fortnite is neat. Fortnite's a fun game. I've never hated it, but um, yeah, I mean, it was also one of the first, one of the pioneering battle royales, and with, along with uh, what <laughs> PUBG what was. Mine? Uh, Public Battlegrounds G. Well, with Public Battlegrounds <laughs> was G my name for it? <laughs> and H1Z1. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I was just going to say, it's natural that people will be able to take the faults of a previous one and improve on it. Sure. Or or, just, or people get tired and they move on. Right. You can love the Battle Royale style. People love Deathmatch style or Capture the Flag style. But you're going to want to play it in multiple, multiple ways. Multiple universes, multiple themes. But I just saw a commercial... The other day wasn't video game related. Okay. Where they're out to eat with the family or doing something, and at the end of the commercial, something happy happens, and the girl starts flossing like in the background. Like my eye went to that. I was like, okay, this is it. I'm. This is. This this is the moment where it, it slides downhill. This is it. We're jumping a shark. Yeah, we're, we're we're flossing the shark at this point. But seriously, <laughs> that, that's when you know when when the the corporate world knows that we can market to this. That's when you know it's totally it's totally integrated into our society at that point. When you see it randomly on some commercial, so without like, mentioning it, without mentioning it, the girl just starts flossing as a thing. I'm just like, what the fuck am I watching now? This is where I know Pat's old. <laughs> but anyway, well, well, at least I know what it is. I'm like, what's that girl doing over there? That's hey. your She's shaking her hips like Elvis. It's really an Elvis She's hip shake. Her. <laughs> it's like Elvis. Yeah, really. All right, and then of course uh, the, the dance uh, dance lawsuit update. So it, it turns out poor Carlton Carlton uh, can't copyright the Carlton dance. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. And, and what's interesting, they said that even if the dance can be copyrighted, it's not clear who owns it, which I brought up originally. It's yeah. like this it's derivative of other dances. It's not it's it's not its own unique sort of thing. Yeah, there's no real way to verify that he was the originator of that dance. It looks yeah. like a dance that many people may have spontaneously done in the past. Yeah. Alfonso R- Ribeiro, uh, he's the one who brought the lawsuit. Um so so they're dubious that he owned the dance to the copyright office. And that was, and that's what it hinged on that he can copyright it. And he, and he probably should have copyrighted it way back, but he went had a better shot. And they, but they even still, they could have said, well, this is not a real dance routine. This is just like a little movement for a few seconds. Right. So there's other lawsuits that, because of this, like uh, the Millie Rock dance and the Backpack Kid, uh, who came up with the, f- the floss, apparently, they probably won't win these lawsuits because they're too simple of dances to do. Right. So one's a hip shake moving your arms, and there's been hip shakes forever. Going good. Elvis. Elvis was the guy who made that probably famous probably um elvis comes back from the he dead can't copyright it though so. elvis sues Fortnite. that's the story uh here so and then they even said that well if you did the show playing a, a fictional character does that mean the show owns the copyright and that's a good point that i didn't bring up i love this copyright shit that's actually a great point because if it was done for the show the show can say hey that was for our show it's our create creation they can make that point too so the whole thing is weird but uh just give him some bucks though just slip slip Alfonso, a few dollars, to, you know, just say, hey, look, look, we appreciate it. We named it after you, basically. Just give him some bucks. Epic. You're not putting that towards development of another game I won't talk Unreal. about. Unreal. I was going to I was gonna say it, but you're not putting it towards that. Just give some to Alfonso. Just just do it. It's not going to hurt. Maybe, it's they've not, been, it, maybe they've been working on the next Unreal for five years. It's going to be the best. It's not. No, they abandoned the Ian. They abandoned the, the alpha version last year. I told you that. It was a lie. It was a lie? Yeah. It's just a, Which looks smooth, by the way. I looked at the album. You can download it for free, I think, at the Epic Game Store. And I refuse to download it because I don't want to play a game that's like 10% finish or 20% finish. I want the full thing. It'll make you cry. You basically can just play like some deathmatch against people. Like with All the weapons are there and that's it. Mm. You know, So if you want to flack someone in the face, you can do it. 